Hey, what's going on, everybody? Keeping it real fishing. I want to show you uh, one of my reels. And here it comes. Dun -dun 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 I'm just messing around. Shimano. Kronark. 201E7. That would be this year's. <clears throat> they had this deal going earlier in the year. Might still be valid, but I think it might have uh, ended by now. For a rebate, $30 rebate on these guys, so that used to be the UPC. Had to cut that out and mail it in along with the coupon. Um, with the reel, you get usual Shimano stuff, lubricating oil. Um, you got that tool there, little tabs for the brake, bag. And warranty, parts, etc. Usual stuff with any reel. <clears throat> I'm just going to give you a couple of my thoughts on it. There's another guy on here. He's got a lot of views on um, this guy, Sonny, Team Rippin' Lips. And um, I saw pretty much everyone took a look at uh, his. he got like 7,000 views. So um, he does a lot of unboxings. And... Um, so you can look at his, I, I can't really show you anything different, you know, the real is the real. But I just wanted to give you uh, my thoughts on it, and my angle on this is a newbie to baitcasters. Alright, so if you're a seasoned person, if you've been using them for a while, what I say might sound kind of stupid, but um, if you're new to baitcasters, or maybe you used one a long time ago and you're coming back to them, you want to try them out, uh, I'm just going to give you a, a perspective from a person who's getting into them himself. I like this reel. Uh, something about the Shimano's, they're kinda uh, understated in the design. Kinda simple. But everything feels really solid and smooth. Uh, let's see if I can... You know, it just goes. I actually have this set up the way I was using it. You know, the brake and everything, so... I'm using a little bit of a lighter lure. One thing I'll point out here, though, is I believe starting in the Kronark, that's the model, whereas they're made in Japan. Ones below it are, you know, I don't know where. Um, I just know that this is where the Japanese models start. This, the core, and, you know, all the models that are, that are going up from that point. The other ones might be Thailand, Malaysia, you know, wherever they're making things. VBS system. So you got your little tabs. As you can see, I have two out, one and two. Um, if you're using one of these, you'll probably already know, but you always want to have this thing balanced, so you want to have opposites doing the same thing. Uh, of, of course, you could do three as well. You would just space it every other one, and that would be balanced as well. Very Empire Strikes Back, <laughs> uh, Stormtrooper-ish with the white and black. These handles are nice. They're uh, rubberized. They're called Technical L-Grip 2. Drag is nice. Positive, decent click. No click on the spool tensioner. Handle's a straight handle. There's no recurve in it. Um, drag is, uh, this piece here, though, the drag start is plastic, and just from what I've heard, previous generations were metal. So there's some cost cutting going on in here. That line there, for whatever it's worth, is a uh, suffix siege 10 pound. I, I like to use a little bit lighter on here. I just, I like the way it casts, and I've never really had a problem with anything breaking. So that works for me. Got nice positive engagement. It's a nice rail. Pretty small. Um, I have skinny fingers, I guess average to kind of maybe average large size hands. And uh, you can see it's really, you know, just kind of like how you would palm it. Disappears in the hand. 
really small. It's a low, bro low profile bay caster, right? I guess it should be small. So really the only thing I want to tell you about this from my point of view is like I said, I just picked up um, my first bait caster this year and that was the other one that I did a review on, I'll just throw it in here, that was that uh, Daiwa T3 Ballistic and uh, you know now that I have two I can see like a lot of differences um, but I found that the Cronarch was a whole lot easier for me to to kind of learn casting and to get better on learning on the Daiwa um, you know having not casted once for probably over 10 years and uh, I, I had never had anybody show me so I had nothing but problems probably even more than 10 years, probably, probably like 15 years ago uh, I, I never got it down, I had nothing but backlashes, I didn't know what I was doing, I didn't know how to set it up, I had, didn't have anybody show me either um, this is before YouTube so uh, I was kind of in the dark and I just swore them off, I said these things are a pain so uh, learning on the Daiwa, trying to learn on the Daiwa, I got really frustrated, I had a lot of backlashes, I changed my line, I used a couple different brands of mono because I heard that was easier, I used different pound tests, I was, I have all kinds of line that I bought just to try to get this set up, um, obviously played around with the brake in every conceivable way, they got the max brake and everything, I had a real hard time on this one, and I've since gotten it down and now I really like this, I can cast the hell out of it, but I, there was, a, I guess, a steeper learning curve. So really what I'm trying to say is uh, the Shimano's, and the reason I got this is my friend has a, uh, a new Corrado. And I said, hey, listen, I'm having all these problems with my Daiwa. I'm not sure if it's just me, but, you know, can I just try that other one? And from the moment I picked it up, I was able to cast it much easier. Fewer backlashes, and it just felt very smooth and fluid, and I just fell in love with the way it felt. It was a very different feel than the Daiwa. So I got this, and it is, um, in my opinion, learning on the Shimano's, they're just more forgiving. Just, just more forgiving. Um, so, that's it. This is the uh, Shimano Cronarch. This is the left-hand model, obviously, 201E7. It's a really smooth reel. It's a really nice reel. Um, it's just, it's a good piece of equipment. I really recommend it. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, if you have any questions, uh, you can give me a holler. Keeping it real fishing. Thanks.